Saturday morning meeting, PK52. What I want to do today is I want to talk about vehicle stability control because I want to drop back on this product knowledge series we're doing and have a little bit of fun. Sometimes in order to understand this massive technology or the engineering that we're building into safety of the car, you have to be able to entertain a little bit. Remember, not everybody has an automotive background. Not everybody has an engineering background. Not everybody understands physics. What they do understand is if the car can save my life, then I want to know how it works. If I let my 16-year-old daughter or son drive and they're an inexperienced driver and the weather starts getting bad, is there a device built into this car that can actually save my child's life? And we call it VSC. VSC was our foundation. We now have enhanced VSC. So let's start like this. So I just take the customer right here and I just draw a road. So that's a road with a sweeping right hand turn. In turn, I'm going to go ahead and draw with my tremendous art skills. I'm going to draw uh, a rectangle. I love rectangles. Rectangles are awesome. Since I love rectangles so much, what I think I'll do is I'll turn the page real quick and I'll draw a big giant rectangle right here. All right, so now on these two rectangles that I like a whole lot, let me say on this smaller one down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four ellipses. Some people call them circles. They're not quite perfect, so I call them an ellipse. And so now I've got the four ellipses, and I guess what I want to do is I want to draw a segment. People call it a line, but you know a line never ends. A line goes on forever, but a segment would be a portion of a line. Since I'm doing segments right now, I'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more segments. And then I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just put another rectangle on top of them since I'm so fond of rectangles. So our story starts like this. We've got your son or daughter driving a car down the highway and they don't text ever when they're in the car. Even if their phone bings and it tells them they got a text message, they would never look at that text message. So what happens is the road starts to get turning a little bit too sharp for them. They've looked away from the steering wheel and now they're into the turn. The first thing that happens is this feature kicks in and it kicks in with the yaw and roll rate sensor. What that means is if this car tries to go straight that means the yaw gets off of the car, it's trying to push through the turn, then it's going to read that yaw rate all y'all can see how the rear end's moving around. That's y'all rate. And then roll rate would be the pitch of the car like this. So this device, Vehicle Stability Control, can measure the y'all of the car and the roll of the car. Well, anytime you get into a bind and a turn, you get going too sharp, you're going to create both y'all and roll. So the next thing I need to know is, how do I tell the computer where I intended to go? So I'm going to put an asterisk right here. And the reason the car knows that I want to go there is because of the steering wheel position sensor. So it doesn't matter what's going on around me. The car knows that I've pointed the car toward that asterisk or that is my destination. The next thing it looks at is the throttle position sensor. Now, it realizes that you're going way too fast. So let's go ahead and break this down. We're going to write down in this little rectangle right here, this says clearly 35 miles per hour. The car is now going 85 miles per hour during a lengthy glance down at the phone during a non-text because nobody ever texts while driving. So the problem is, am I going to make this curve? And the answer is, uh, yes, of course I'll make the curve. Immediately after impacting the guardrail. So without VSC, no matter how hard I turn the steering wheel, the car is going to push through and hit this guardrail. And that's called understeer. So the primary problems that customers are going to have is pushing of the car, understeer, or, hey, I'm turning the wheel and the car is still going straight. So now, let's see how vehicle stability control can fix this dynamic. The very first thing we need to know is, is exactly what's, what the problem is. I'm going too fast, 35, 85, and a 35. So we're going to have a throttle kill or throttle reduction. Even if the driver is still heavily in the accelerator, 
The throttle is going to go whoa, whoa. It's going to shut the fuel and air supply down, and it's going to start slowing the car down. It may slow it down enough that the wheels actually catch traction, and you can physically drive through the turn. If you're going way too fast, and it happens all the time, then what can happen is the ABS can kick in. Now realize we talked about the ABS before. It's a four channel ABS, so it works every one of these four wheels independently. Think about this. Is there something that you can come up in your mind that can turn that doesn't have a steering wheel? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Name something that can be ridden or driven that can be turned but doesn't use a steering wheel. I hear you thinking. Yes, exactly. A bulldozer a bobcat, a skid steer, a tank, that's a great, man, you're driving a tank and you shut down the in, inside two wheels, that tank is going to flip around and do a U-turn. One of my favorites is a canoe. If you're paddling down a river, you're paddling down the river and you stick the paddle on the right side of the boat, what happens is as you start to slow down, it starts turning toward the paddle. I used to race my kids out of the grocery store. I'd jump on the shopping cart and the shopping cart would have four wheels. I could touch that right rear wheel and the shopping cart would turn. So the ABS comes on and it shuts down the appropriate wheel. And never say which wheel, you don't know. It, it depends on the dynamics, but see the appropriate wheel, the brakes will be applied and watch what happens. This is crazy. The car drives through that turn. How many times does that have to work before it's worth the money? Every manufacturer now has some kind of stability control. Our enhanced stability control now, before yaw or roll happens, it can anticipate that by the way you've turned the steering wheel by adding in the engine RPM sensor. So it's a device that makes you a better driver. I don't know, in this situation it would be priceless. Let me see if I can mess it up a little bit. I'm really good at messing these things up. So in this little thing, I'll turn it from a car. I'll put that right there. I'll put a little triangles. Everybody loves a triangle. Then I'll put a little trailer back there, and I'll put a couple of wheels back there, and we're going to call this my big B, my boat. And my boat weighs 5,200 pounds. And so what I've done now is I've entered this turn, and I'm going too fast. As I start to slow down, the boat starts to push the rear end of the car this way. And now what am I getting is a little bit of oversteer. So just like all of this right here, as the rear end starts to kick out on this pickup truck because the way the boat's pushing it, the brakes, the throttle position, and everything are going to do everything to rectify that truck till it's straight and then drive it directly through my point of reference. PK-52, Bill Nye the science guy, call it what you want, breaking it down in color so it becomes easy to explain it to a customer. A little rule here, if you've watched this one time and you grab a bunch of markers out here with a bunch of different colors and you try to explain this to a customer, you're going to get a little bit through that and go, I don't know, the dude did it on the video. So this gives you an opportunity to take a clean piece of paper and start breaking down some of this huge technology to a way that everybody can understand it. Remember, it becomes valuable if I understand what's in it for me. This has been Saturday Morning Meeting, PK52. We got more. See you next week.